Mitch is a very hard worker, which is one thing that I love about him. Not only does he work hard professionally, but he's always working hard for our relationship. He is funny in a not so funny way, in the sense that he doesn't try to be funny, but he always has some really good one-liners. She is the most selfless, outgoing, hardworking, and determined person I know. We actually met in Bowling Green, Kentucky at Hilligan's and the first night that we met I actually laid eyes on him and said to my friend, who is that guy? He is so cute. And she introduced us and really nothing came of it because it was our senior year and we were from different places. And so then about a month later his friend asked me if I would help him with an online Spanish test and Mitch came with him. And after Mitch asked if I would help just him, and then after me tutoring him, he asked if he could take me to dinner to pay me back. And my friends and I debated if it was a date or not, and apparently it was, because here we are four and a half years later. You are my perfect little sunrise. You are the apple of my eye. You are a wish I want to make the rest of my life I guess it would just be the, the connection that we had um, we always seem to have fun together um, we're, we're a huge support system for each other she makes me really happy it's just pretty much everything about her well, to be honest, I feel like I've always loved Mitch, and from the beginning, I've always known I would marry him. Even at some of our trying times that every relationship has in my heart, I just always felt like that I loved him and that I knew I would marry him someday. It's something that there's really no exact moment. It's just, it's always been a feeling that I've had for him. She'd always wanted to get married to Drew's Pavilion, so I thought I would propose up there. On the way up there, uh, Rachel was giving me directions and got us lost, so I didn't actually get to propose at Tree's Pavilion. It actually ended up being at the orphanage right up the road because we were lost. The woman was outside that works there and was like, you can't be here, and he said, I'm trying to propose, and she was like, you can't be here, so he just freaked out in my car. I have no idea what he said. He has no idea what he said. Something along the lines of asking me to marry him, and I was so caught off guard, I asked if he was joking and if my diamond was real. I never answered yes. <laughs> we had to drive down the road to leave, and I stopped the car, got out, got down on one knee, and, uh, and asked her to marry me again. I think it was about 10 or 15 minutes before she actually said yes, because she was asking me if I was kidding the whole time. And I think I'll just be looking at him thinking there's the cutest boy in the world and I can't wait to spend my life with him and how blessed am I that God gave me such a wonderful person and somebody who completes me so well and just the excitement of starting our journey as husband and wife. I'm, I'm sure a lot of emotion will come over me and that's, that's kind of big for me that usually doesn't happen but I'm just I'm really excited to start a life with her and, and to be able to be with her forever. You are my little Darling, my honeybee, you're like nothing I've ever seen, you're everything to me. I always want to know that, that I love her and that I'm always here for her and any decisions that, that she makes. I think she's the most perfect girl in the world and I'm very lucky to have her. I can't wait to start our lives together. Mitch, I love you. I am so grateful for you every day. I am proud of the person you are. I can't wait to start our life together and start our family. Please know that I will always be your number one cheerleader. I will always be your support and that no matter what happens in our lives, as you say, it'll all be okay. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end.